the eternal well of Huergelmir. There, it is said, lies the power to begin Ragnarok, the end of all worlds. The path to the eternal well can only be opened from the moonhenge which lies beyond the barrows, upon the plain of souls. It is a desperate plan, creeping past Grimnia's frost giant allies, while they are distracted by Arturus's counterattack. For Albion and for Vanir, for the king! <laughs> A good day to die. So let's help as many giants as we can to do so! <laughs> Why did I agree to this plan? of the old form. All shall fall before my might. Leave it unexplored. They say you're a fool to cross lands marked with new. The Barrow Gate must be inside this cave. Who's there? Are you friend or foe? Shh. 
shall enter the barrows. That's what you said. Reflect your death.
the barrows. But hope we beat Grimnir to the Moonhenge. Ordered all the vermin destroyed! Grimnir, there is blood feud between us, and I will have your head! Oh, still you pester me! But no matter! It is far too late to stop me now! At last, the gate to the eternal well is open! Finish this pest! My destiny awaits beneath the great ice! Should we kill it? That's what the boss says, you idiot! Grimnir had awakened the Moonhenge, but with its destruction, the path towards the Eternal Well had been closed behind him. But my visions had not changed. The end of all worlds loomed large. Yet I still saw the fulfillment of the Ulfung's destiny in the flow of time. The Ulfung brought the runestones from the rubble of the Moonhenge back to their village hoping beyond hope that it might yet open the path onward to them. Somehow, there was still hope. Hey, Runesmith, I brought you this hunk of rock. Can we use it? It has seen better days, but mayhap I can inscribe some of the runes upon our own portal. Father, beware. 
This is not the full inscription from the Moonhenge. It may have unforeseen effects in this form. Aye, sure enough. Let me listen to what the runes are singing. Of course. That's what my day was missing. Singing runes! Balheim. Balheim. The realm of fire giants. The seeress warns that Grimnir seeks to ally with them too, which would surely doom us all. Also, it is said that the forges of Balheim are potent beyond a mortal's wildest imagining. Well, we already have quite enough doom, that's for sure. But we need stronger weapons. It's worth a visit, I say. I shall prepare the portal, my chieftain. Good hunting. The prophecy that Surt could not be defeated in battle empowered the fire giants to acquire what the people of the South might call a civilization. With the leader of the fire giants spurning Simul's advances, Grimnir was even more intent that his own emissary would secure their loyalty. Although the chances were slight that the Ulfung could disrupt this alliance, it was worth the attempt. Besides, however the politics might resolve, the fabled lava forges of Balheim are a prize any mortal might seek to capture. Resistance is futile. Sir, I presume? I am his warden. Our leader has no time to meet with the likes of you. You must not ally with Grimnir. He cannot be trusted, and he will bring doom upon us all. Who are you to judge in this matter? I am the War Wolf, and I shall slay Grimnir with my own hands to have vengeance against him and all who side with him. You dare to insult our ally Grimnir? I should never have bothered to allow you into our city. Guards! Guards! Arrest this tiny creature, or slay it if it resists. So much for politics. Resistance is...
in the name of the Thunder God! Blood for mighty Thor! May the God of Thunder honor me for the blood I have spilled in his name! Ominous. This is usually when the heavies come out to play. I thought we were supposed to fight something dangerous. Oh, hi, there it is, over there. That? It's tiny. Where's that challenge in that? It killed a warden. Watch yourself.
enemy! <laughs> It's not the size that counts, it's what you do with it. I suppose I should have known better than to trust the Warwolf to engage in diplomacy. Grimnir now had the support of all the giants, an unprecedented alliance, an unstoppable force. Even with one of Sindri's hammers in their possession, what hope had the wolves of Midgard now? No, it cannot be! As if our fortunes had not proved barren enough, now the fates have unfurled their final banner. Ceres, what do you see? The Roman and bishops remain resolute in their desire to bring both Albion and the Viking clans under imperial rule. The Bishop of Skye has besieged the castle at Caerleon with all his remaining troops. Alas, that is not our only worry. My mother reports that the Dwergar are on the move. They, too, are heading for Albion. Will Grindel aid us against Simul and her allies? She has no love for her neighbors, the Etin. She will warn me when a gate from Dwergheim opens. So the mighty Grindel has been reduced to a simple alarm bell? That's my mother you're talking about! <laughs>